Child, my delights, welcome back. It's the Coco Show, okay? So anyway, um, today I'm eating a BLT with the fried egg. So we got the <clears throat> romaine lettuce, tomato, hella mayo, and um, bacon, fried egg, bread, whatever, cooked in the pan. So I will be doing a little mini... I keep saying mini mukbang, I guess, because I start talking and then I put the food to the side and then, like, the mukbang is over. Move on, mukbang, whatever. So, anyway, since I'm sitting here with the nice dapper sandwich, let me take a bite because it's definitely been sitting here. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Knock me down. Um, um, excuse me for the sniffles, but my stomach, my stomach, my, um, nose is running. Oh, and let me also, I had mentioned in one of the other videos about something else I'll be drinking. And... This is my lemon, regular water, tap water, bottle water, whatever. And my co worker said one day, he was like, Excuse me, I'm at work. I'm, I'm teleworking. Um, he was saying that <clears throat> if you do, oh, oh, I gotta tell you exactly how he said it, right? So he's like, I, I hate to say Nigerian, African descent, something like that different country right so he said i was like man i'm just trying to feel good I, i'm just you know this ms is kicking my ass blah 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 right <laughs> and this is my man so he said if you take five lemons and lamb and garlic and ginger and you boil it in some water I was stuck on the, the lime. I said, what the hell lamb got to do with this? How was lamb? Lamb going to make me feel better? He was like, no, no. It's like a, like, like, it's like the lemon. But it's like, um, you know, lamb, lamb. And I was like, what? And he was like, it's like green. I said, oh, lamb. Oh, <laughs> okay. So ever since he told me that. Um, I've been making that and then I use the raw honey and then I do a dash of cinnamon in it because it's all supposed to help with inflammation and all this other stuff. Now, do I feel different since I've been drinking it? No, but keep things going and we'll just see how things turn out. And then I also, um, another guy, a coworker, he said, um, reach out to this guy cause he makes the pills. So he'll get the herbs and all this other stuff. So I got sea moss, Irish moss on his way and then he said he packed the pills with like <clears throat> three and i'll let y'all know when i do my ms story he packed it with like three vitamins or whatever so i'm super excited because i'm like listen i'm getting ready to go to miami and there's no way that i can go there and feel how i feel now like my leg goes numb but this is a whole nother story that may be done tomorrow i don't know anyway let me tell y'all this weight loss story and my weight loss journey that I'm no longer on. <laughs> so, and I stopped a while ago. And I noticed that when I get in relationships, I just let it flow. I'm plus I like thicker guys, so they never really complain. But anyway, oh, blooper moment. But I ain't doing no editing like that. I don't need to do that. And let me tell you, so like four years ago, okay? while I still work. So, um, it was like, four years ago, um, I went to the doctor and I knew how to gain some weight. I was always a big girl. I was never, oh, and I was super the ugly duckling in school and stuff like that. And I felt like I developed into myself. Um, more so, because if I could insert a picture, trust me, I would. So anyway, I um went to the doctor and in my mind I knew I had gained weight and in my mind I was like, okay, I'm probably about like 250, you know, uh, unfortunately. I get to the doctor 
get on the scale thinking okay i know i'm huge but i'm sure i'm about 250 and I, i've been here before i can work that all nigga that joint said 282 282 pounds you mean to tell me i'm this close to 300 Woo, 18 more pounds another burger and it's just like yeah so that wasn't really the kicker right so i guess maybe not shortly after i was told i weighed a, a hell of a lot i was like all right what i'm gonna do you know it is what it is. Let me go to Bike Week because I have a group of people. We go to Bike Week every year. We just haven't gone in the last couple of years or whatever. But we normally go to Bike Week. So, <laughs> we go to Buff fucking Bike Week, bitch. I'm laying in the bed. And in the hotel we get, I suppose it's like six, seven girls. We don't give a damn about sharing beds. We just here for the action. You know what I'm saying? What's up with the parties? With the turn up? With the this, that, and the third. So, and who got the drinks? So, we in our room we always get the hotel room that has like the kitchen and the bathroom in the middle and then it'll be two beds in the front kitchen bathroom and then at the in the back by the balcony it it has the um that little uh i can't remember what it's called but the bed that comes out the um wall and then it'll have a, a sleeper sofa so cool right well i just so happened to lay down like they had they had brought some guys over Whatever, whatever. So I was just laying down in the front room or whatever. And as I'm laying there, I'm not asleep, but you know, I'm just laying there. And as the guys was getting ready to go, I seen them kind of like one dude kind of like looked over and was like, Is that a man? Is, is that a man? And people cracking up. And I'm like, Bitch, I was hurt. I was hurt because let me. Let me say this. Men and the things that y'all say to us can really break our spirit. I mean, first of all, we've already... Look at Megan Stye, the Stallion song. I'd rather be bitch because that's what you're going to call me anyway. Are you crazy, bitch? Are you crazy? No, you better not be calling me that anyway. But let's go back to the... That's another story or whatever. Video. So, I'm like, I am so super disrespected. You know what I'm saying? And I just felt super bad about myself. But let me tell you what it did, though. What it did do was it made me want to seek revenge. That, oh, I... Plus, I already got, like, a strike against me. Because everybody ain't liking this melanin popping power. So, I already kind of take myself out of the equation for a lot of the times. Because it's kind of like, fuck with me, you like me, you do, you, you don't. It, it, you don't, whatever. Life goes on. So, I'm like, damn, I'm huge as shit, dark. All that. So, nobody... I'm not really going to get no bait anyway. So, I'm not here for that. I'm just here to have a good time. But then when you said that, and it was like, is that a man? I was like, gosh, you know, it's fucked up. So, in my mind, I'm like, okay, revenge time, bitch. So, go home, right? Work it off. So, yes, I'm in the gym. Because in my mind, I was coming back to bike week the next year to let you know, bitch. Don't holler at me now. Because she popping. And she ain't big like she was. But I should have been more like... Fuck you, accept me as I is. You know what I'm saying? But no, I was in my feelings. So I just knew the next year when I get the bike week, all ratchet and shit. When I get the bike week, baby, this nigga gonna holler. And I'm gonna be like, oh, remember when you... That shit ain't even happened, right? I don't even think we went the next year. So I was blown. But I wasn't blown because that motivated me to get down to 170 pounds and i only wanted to get the 175 right so it got me I, I it took like a year to get down to 175 in the beginning the weight was dropping off like butter baby you know what i'm saying i was like damn it even when i slacked off and fell off and then just kind of stopped i was still losing weight because the metabolism was already kicked in it was already going and the most questions i had and then I'm going to say something else about the fact that I got down to 170. The most questions I had from like friends and stuff like that. And this is why I say mini mukbang because then I start talking and I don't ever eat. <laughs> mm. Mm, mm, mm. So, I talk with my mouth full, right? <clears throat> Let me see what's up a little bit. So, and hopefully I don't, what is that? Well, motivate me. I got it in the 170. People just ask me all the time. Girl, what did you do? 
I was um, I did exactly what they tell you to do. You didn't do anything different but work out and eat right. Real life. That was it. Work out and eat right. And yes, I did have a piece of fried chicken. Yes, I did have a slice of pizza. Yes, I did. I'm a calorie counter though. So, I did not miss out on nothing. But, at those times when you like, oh, I'm about to eat like six wings, seven wings. No. Start off with one or two. Pack on the vegetables. And if you're a fool, if you are satisfied in the midst of eating your meal, stop. Make sure you get them vegetables. Maybe start off with the vegetables so that you don't take in so much meat. And that was what I did. Like, I literally, I mean, the gym became, like, my second home because I, it, I, it turned into, I was always 45 minutes cardio, 45 minutes weights because I wanted to all come together. And it did. Um, the arms were popping, you like, the um, waist was small, abs was starting to develop and stuff. Not now, though, y'all. So, but yet, <laughs> this is what I really want to say. So that was great. Did the workout. Did the weight loss popping, right? Still unsatisfied. Still unsatisfied. While I'm old, I'm hearing this. Gosh, you look good. You skinny. You this. You that. Even down to when it comes down to, and I'm going to do a little colorism little thing real quick. I've heard forever. I'm sure people look at this like, bitch, black, burnt, y'all, right? Cool. Because it don't affect me like it used to. But I, growing up, you don't even know how many people was like, oh my gosh, you're beautiful, you're, you're, you're complexion, you're this, that, and the third. But I was damaged because I'm like, ain't no dude trying to holler. Ain't nobody trying to talk to me. And, but, but my feelings was on the wrong thing. Like, why was I worried about that? But, but I was young. I was young. Nowadays, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I can't wait to talk about the colorism because I want to just point out what someone that I know who's a lighter complexion said and it, it hit me like, oh my gosh, you know. So anyway, never did. Um, so, still was unsatisfied at 170. I'm like, oh my God, this role, oh my God, you know, if I could just, but was skinny as shit and didn't realize it until I started getting fat again. And then I'm looking at old pictures and I'm like, bitch. You you was complaining why I had a um I had went on a cruise right and I was about one ninety at the time because I was gaining weight <clears throat> and so we we took a little van or whatever and to um I think they took us to the beach or something like that so I'm in that thing and let me hurry up about two more minutes and then I'm done so I took us to the beach and all that I'm talking to the guy of course he trying to talk to me whatever cool so I was like yeah telling my weight loss journey and all that. I said yeah I'm about one one no I might have been like 180 or something because he sure enough or maybe I was 175 180 he was like oh no 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 you got to you maybe 200 I'm like no bitch you know what I'm saying what you mean I worked hard and I already gained 20 from my 170 I gotta get it popping now I'm at 215 Okay, because I ain't one of them women like, oh my gosh, I'm not telling my age. Oh my gosh, I'm not telling my weight. I'm an open book for real, for real. So, you can hear it all. So, now I'm at 215, and I'm loving it. But I know I need to get it together, but I don't feel as bad as I used to, even when I was smaller. That's crazy, and it's a, it's a, it's a mental thing. It's about you. It's about how you feel. You know what I'm saying? It's not about the the society. It's not about what the hell they the, the damage they've done in the music, on TV, and movies. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? You know what I'm saying? So it will be a part two to this. Um, because all my videos will have a part two, and I meant to say that way earlier, but all my videos that I do, I'ma try to keep it consistent like that. That's gonna kind of be how my channel is gonna go. Is that I'm gonna I'm talking about weight loss now, and now I'm talking I'm telling my story and everything, and now it'll be a part two. Hopefully, it's always the, an encouraging thing when I do part two. I'ma have my rant, and then I'ma have my part two. So before I give some more advice about the work, and now I just wanna let y'all know it's mental. But that's in, in, in part two. But I just wanna tell y'all my weight loss story. You can reach your goals. 
and it is it, more than weight loss you can reach your goals period but see y'all on part two baby uh coco i said i'm gonna figure out something right let me see coco gotta go though i i i, I don't know and i'm gonna figure out something because I'm going to just figure it out. All right, y'all. Thanks for joining me. Like, comment, subscribe, and just come back for more. Uh, that's all I can really say. All right, y'all. Have a good, wonderful day. Watch out. Keep, out. keep an eye open for part two coming soon, probably right after this video.